what's going on, Marvel fans, and all you Marvel fans watching at home throughout the multiverse. I'm Josh Soleil. How are we all doing today? That's what I want to hear. I'm so excited to talk about Marvel Contest of Champions. Do we have any summoners in the house? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see you, I see you. Well, I cannot wait. For anyone new here, Marvel Contest of Champions is a free-to-play fighting game on the App Store and Google Play Store where you collect and battle your favorite Marvel heroes. We are on year eight. Year eight. That is insane. I can't believe it. I'm so proud of this game and this team. There are over 250 playable Marvel characters. If you told me that as a 13-year-old boy, I'd be like, there's no way I can carry around a game in my pocket with over 250 characters. It's a juggernaut. Now, you're in for a treat today, y'all. We're about to talk tournaments, new characters, and more in this special show paid for by Kabam. And if you stick around, we got a giveaway. Oh, yeah, they always get excited for the giveaway. I love it. All right, well, let's give a huge Marvel welcome to the amazing community manager of Marvel Contest of Champions. Give it up for Jackson Stevens! Everybody, what's up, Josh? How Jackson, are you, buddy? Thanks for coming by. Thanks of course, by. happy to be here. All right, so, New York Comic Con. How's your con going? It's day two. You seen a cool Marvel cosplay? Yeah, I love the energy in a con here, and honestly, for me, cosplays, it just draws the eye, right? Shout out to everyone who's a spider person out there right now. <laughs> Rocking spandex in October. Indoors, it's hot. Outdoors, it's cold. It's chaos, but you guys are the real ones. I appreciate it. I love that. I love it. Well, let's jump right into Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm a huge fan. I think my go-to Doctor Doom, maybe a little bit of Quicksilver, maybe, and then Magneto, I think. I think those are, like, those are my three. What about you? What would be your three? That is a solid group for me. Kitty Pride representing Ooh. the mutants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then Spider-Ham kind of breaks everything visually. <laughs> I really enjoy that. And then Sasquatch because we need a cryptid and some Canadian representation. Canadian, there, so. yeah, 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 again, I love it. Well, this game is not just on your phone. You can also have live events that you're doing. I mean, we used to have the Summoner Showdown! which I loved. Now we got Battle Realm Brawl! What can you tell us about that? Battle Realm Brawl is essentially the evolution of the Summoner Showdown. It's our first in-person live competition since those previous days and those previous competitions. It's the first live event we've had since the pandemic. Yeah. We are flying out the top eight players from all around the world, we have eight summoners coming in from Mexico, Finland, from the UK, two in Canada, and a couple in the US as well. They are going to battle it out on stage, live in Vancouver, October 20th and 21st. It's going to be a wild competition. And I think they're right here. Oh, they were just on the screen earlier that you were seeing. That's going to be insane. What a competition. We got a little trailer for you guys for Battle Realm Brawl. Let's go ahead and take a look what that looks like. I think I saw myself in there. That was cool. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, a little, a little teaser. Okay, so give us the scoop of this. What can folks expect to see at the Battle Room Brawl? So it's all going to be broadcast live on Twitch, twitch.tv uh, slash kabam. You're going to see two days of really intense competition, but there's also going to be a number of reveals. Uh, for anyone who comes to the event live in Vancouver, Friday after the competition, we're going to be doing a essentially a showcase of a lot of new game modes, new characters, lots of hands-on experience for people. But if you can't be there live, the stream on the Saturday, October 21st, we're going to be going through everything that we showcase for players. There's going to be a lot of new, like I said, game modes, lots of really hype stuff that... Uh, some people just have no ideas coming, really. I can't wait. Now, when there's a tournament, there are prizes. What can you tell us about the prizes? Well, 
it's all going to be in-game stuff, which is great. For me, realistically, the competition, it's about the glory. Yeah, yeah. But I understand that's not for everybody. So uh, our number one person, our top summoner, is going to walk away with essentially pick any seven-star champion in the game. Our highest rarity, what? new to the contest in the last few months here, <laughs> Pick your favorite is what's going to be at the top there, along with other things, other goodies, other titles, other in-game uh, materials as well. I'm so curious who they would choose. Oh, my gosh. Well, mark your calendar, guys. It's going to be on October 20th and 21st in Vancouver. And if you can't be in Vancouver, twitch.tv slash kabam. You can watch it there. Now, one of the best things about Marvel Contest of Champions, right, is you guys are always rolling out new content, new characters into the game, just putting so much love into this game, which you can feel it. Now, I think there's been some more releases that you've been excited about. What have you been released that you've been excited about recently? So in the last little while, we, well, so the competition is set in our new game mode called Battlegrounds. That's only been around for a year. It's completely changed the contest. But we're still going along with all of our story content, all of our act content. So we've actually created some new bosses, a lot of really cinematic things coming to the contest. And there's something for everyone at this point. Oh, and there's some badass bosses in Act 8. It's insane. Like, I gotta know, who should summoners fear the most? Like, who are some of the first bosses players will face? So the first one in Act 8 is going to be Cytalis, an agent of Ouroboros. She is a essentially corrupted black widow. Um, <laughs> the The combat with her is very specific, very meticulous. You have to hone your skills. This game's crazy in that it's three things, right? It's your roster, it's your skills, and your knowledge. All of these bosses are really going to challenge that knowledge for you. Cytalis is awesome, but it doesn't stop there because we also have Bahamut, a corrupted Hulk as well. Some very fun mechanics in that fight on top of everything else. I love it. like, let's make Black Widow and Hulk even stronger, yeah. even badder. Make them more wild. <laughs> yeah, really look. challenge people. And I, I think there's, there's one more. Do you want to reveal it? There is. Go. So... Oh. As of <laughs> next week, uh, October 18th, we have our next set of story content, and with that comes our new boss. So this is Serastes. Serastes is a corrupted hey! version of Iron Man, and we have a saying in our game and in our community that the art team don't miss, no. and these guys are beautiful. So it is very cool to see them up on the screen they like this. They don't miss at all. Yo, how awesome do these look? This is insane! Oh my goodness! I mean, whoo! Now, okay, we want to know about Serasi's fighting style. What, what can you tell us? Well, so, I can't tell you too much, because we don't want to give it away. Of course. But as you can see here, everything visually is incredible. It's really going to challenge your reflexes. These boss fights always do. Like, there is that roster match that you need to consider, but it's always the reflexes. And I went to our game team as they designed it, and I said, who should I be bringing in? Who's the perfect oh. counter? And they said, we're not going to tell you. <laughs> so I don't even have that answer for you. I wish that I could give you all a little sneak peek of exactly what you need to do here. But it's going to be a challenge one way or the other. But that's the fantastic thing about a community as well, and especially our community. Everyone comes together and shares that information and yeah, shares yeah. that knowledge, and yeah. they, they tackle it we're together. We're all learning together. Exactly. Like, the best yeah. move. Okay, if you can't tell us, I guess, who to bring in... Any advice on how to take them down, just like a little bit? That's going to be tough, too. I mean, do do the reps. you got to yeah. do the work, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, a yeah. big part of this game is the research. So we have a, a ton of really talented content creators. They're putting out guides. That's where I learn. That's, oh, I work for the company, yeah. and I'm still learning, yeah. yes, from the company, but also from our content creators out there, really showing me how to get it done. So yeah. collaborate, practice, work hard for it. Yep. It'll come to you eventually, yeah. Well, before we let you go, I think we have one more reveal. And this is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big reveal. This is a big one. I'm really excited about it. All right, what you got, Jackson? What you got? All right. So we at Marvel Contest of Champions are always at our best when we are collaborating with Marvel and bringing new characters to the universe, to the Battleverse, for you all to play with in Marvel Contest of Champions. So it is with immense joy, pleasure, and privilege that I can introduce all of you to our newest champion, Chiel. Oh, look at that! Oh my god! That is awesome, y'all. The character is so layered. And we're going to hear from some of the creative minds behind her in just a few minutes. Jackson, thank you so much for those awesome announcements. The reveals. I cannot wait to play as this character. And we're going to learn more. 
but I think it's time we hear it one more time from Marvel Contest of Champions Community Manager Jackson Stevens, y'all. Give it Thank up. You, Give it up. Thank you. And now we've got a special spotlight video of Chiel. Let's go ahead and watch it. First Nations people in pop culture is kind of a fascinating thing. A lot of the times, you know, First Nations people, they're in art and they're in media, but they don't get a chance to control it, to create the story themselves. Shield is the newest superhero coming to Marvel Contest of Champions. She's different because she's a First Nations hero and she's created by a team of First Nations people. The way that Chiyoth uh, gains her superpowers, there's this attack on her small town, there's a nuclear reactor that goes down, and it sort of creates this big wave of gamma mutates. Think Hulk, Abomination, those sort of monstrosities. And they start rampaging through the town, they start hurting people, and so Chiyoth goes to rescue her abusive father from these gamma mutates, and these two spirits are looking on, uh, Brother Grizzly and Sister Eagle, and they decide to bestow their power on her because she shows the sort of courage and honor that they're looking for. Brother Grizzly is the warrior spirit. He's all about combat and sharing that combat knowledge. And Sister Eagle is the healer. She's known for drawing out sicknesses and curses. And so they kind of work as a pair to try and save the Gamma Mutates effectively from themselves. The biggest thing about working with Marvel that surprised me was their excitement about the idea. They want this character to exist. They want diversity and inclusiveness to be a major focus for them. Let's get the cultural experts in. Let's make sure we're doing this correctly and let's make sure we knock it out of the park. I don't know if it'd be possible for me to be more proud of an artistic achievement. It's amazing. It's genuinely a bucket list sort of achievement, you know? We've put an enormous amount of effort and work into making sure that she's not just authentic, but also fun and exciting and interesting. You know, I'm hoping that they'll see the effort that we put in and be excited for the character and want to see more of the character. Yeah! How awesome was that? What's up, what's up? Y'all take a seat, come on down, I'll introduce you to everybody. We've got some of the creative team joining us, y'all. We got senior game designer Justin Austinson and senior Hello. quest designer Max Arnold from Kabam. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you so much Thanks for having, having us. us. So the big reveal just happened. How are we feeling? How, how, what's, what's going through your minds? I'm... <laughs> I, I, words are hard to get out. <laughs> speechless. I, speechless, literally. Like, this is so amazing i'm so excited i've been putting so much time and effort into this yeah. for so long and now it's here and i could not be more happy and excited like i'm just over the moon with it same sentiment same sentiment oh absolutely it's been a long road to get here and it's been worth every single milestone we hit i love that well shield is the all-new original first nations character in marvel contest of champions and she's created by first nations people justin what can you tell us about shield well when we first started working on Shield, you know, a little while ago during the first round of Summoner's Choice, actually. Players were reaching out to us about how important it was for them to have First Nations representation. You know, they saw Danny Moonstar and they were over the moon. They were excited and they wanted more. And so we started researching, like, okay, what other First Nations characters do we want? And uh, you may have seen a little sneak peek of one of the other ones that we're going to be bringing into the contest as well there. Um, but while we were doing this research, we kind of realized that there was an opportunity to tell some stories that never really get a chance to be told and to tell them on an enormous stage like this. And so, yeah, Chielth is a brand new original character. She's Skatine Nations, you know, my own tribe. And we're getting a chance to tell the story that almost never gets to be told. It's amazing. I love that. I love that. The, the passion behind it, too. Max, when and where can fans play and know more about Shield 2 in the game? Well, Shield is going to be launching in November, which is Native American Heritage Month, and she's going to be coming out alongside Kashala, the Spirit Rider, who's another fan favorite folks have been asking for for a long while. Uh, she's going to be making her debut in a printed comic form as well. It's going to showcase her origin story. Uh, the script was written by Rebecca Roanorse, who has done a phenomenal job with all the work that she's contributed. It's filled to the brim with fabulous artwork by Jim Terry. Uh, I just, I'm over the moon with how fantastic the work done on that comic has been. Uh, and then lastly, there's going to be a motion comic that we're going to release at the same time in November that bridges that gap between Chiel's origins and their arrival in the contest. And that was also scripted by uh, Rebecca. But it gave us this amazing opportunity to work with Tantu Cardinal, who provides the voiceover work for that motion comic. And it has been so exciting to have that happen. 
Um, and yeah, you can check out all of that on our MCOC social channels in November. Yes, yes, I love that. Now, in the trailer that you guys just saw, Shield has a fighting strength of the Grizzly and the healing from the Eagle. Now, Justin, how did the team land on those you know, powers, and how do they tie back into Marvel Comics? Yeah, so funnily enough, when we first started working on the character, um, she actually had two wolf spirits that she worked along because when we were first pitching her, we were actually pitching her as an updated version of a hero that some people may know, uh, Red Wolf. Um, but when we started working on the pitch, Marvel liked so much of it that they were like, it's great, but why not an original character? We can push it so much further. They were just over the moon excited for that. And so we were like, great, like, why not? And so we started working with cultural experts like right away, as fast as we could. And one of them reached out to us and said, you know, wolf well, spirits, they kind of work. But, you know, Skatine Nations, you know, they believed that bear spirits were actually the protectors. They were the warriors. And so we switched it to two bear spirits. And then the other cultural expert that we brought in right away, well, she reached out and said, well, you know, bears are great warriors or protectors. But eagles are actually much more known for healing and drawing out sicknesses, which was a big part of what we were doing. And so we worked with them and with Marvel to update the pitch, and Brother Grizzly and Sister Eagle were born. I, I love how you, I love how the yeah we got some <laughs> woos in the audience. I love that, but I love how you also like made sure to check all the boxes and 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 like make sure this character is detailed. It's very important, and and it shows. It really shows, and I can't wait for y'all to play this character too. Now this character also ties into Marvel Comics. I mean, we saw the one below all in that trailer. Max, can you give us some char uh, some context on who that character is in the game as well? Absolutely. So for those of you unfamiliar, the one below all is the personification of hate and destruction in the Marvel multiverse, and they are antithetical to the ultimate form of creation, the one above all. Bit, bit of a no-brainer, I know, but follow with me. <laughs> It doesn't quite have a form with which to enact its terrible plans and foils, so it has to manifest in beings who have been infected with a unique kind of gamma radiation, like the Hulk or Abomination. And these gamma mutates, empowered and manifesting the will of the one below all, enact this terrible crusade of destruction across all creation. But the battle realm itself is a pretty tough nut to crack, so the one below all needs to sort of tap into some new and more interesting resources and agents if they want to really overcome a space as tough and brutal as the battle realm. So you're going to see some more cosmic and mystically primal forces of destruction serving the will of the one below all in their attempts to thwart Shield and the player. I won't spoil too much more of the story, but I do want to say that there are plenty of monsters, mayhem, and madness to be found in Shield's debut. I love monsters, mayhem, and madness. I love that. That was, that was good. That was good. Now, okay, I want to know about Shield's fighting style, right? Justin, what can you tell us? All right, so Shield's fighting style for in-game is best described as simple and effective. Basically, she's going to be coming in with a super-powered block mechanic that is going to make your parry insanely strong. Yes. Basically... She doesn't care how high the opponent's attack rating gets throughout the fight. She, if the opponent has a million attack ratings, she goes, yeah, I don't care. And she's <laughs> going to block at exactly the same amount. <laughs> Not only that, she's got a crazy powerful cleanse mechanic to just get rid of debuffs that come in. And she pairs it up with a super powerful tranquilized debuff, which also gets rid of debuffs. So she's kind of debuff immune in a lot of matchups, too. And she just inflicts crazy amounts of bleeds with her adz axe. So... Honestly, a crazy powerful kit that is super simple and crazy fun to use. <laughs> All right, well, I need to get better at my parry. That's something like the perfect character for me. Now, her, the details in her kit are also tributes to indigenous background. Justin, can you give us some details on that? Yeah, so this was something I was really excited about. Um, like uh, <clears throat> like Mac, Mac, Max mentioned, we have Tantu Cardinal coming in to provide the voice for the motion comic. For those of you unfamiliar, she's in Dances with Wolves, she's in Smoke Signals, one of the most famous First Nations artists out there. It was an absolute joy and delight to work with her. But we included some, uh, some references to Smoke Signals in, uh, in the game. You'll have to find out where they are, you'll have to play against different characters to find them. But most importantly to me at least, we also included a reference to the poetry of Chief Dan George in her synergy bonuses. His work is extremely important to me, and to get it, to bring it into this character was honestly so important and so amazing. Are you both counting down the days? Oh, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> I've been doing that for months. <laughs> Marked in the calendar. <laughs> yes, I love it. Well, Max, you mentioned the custom comic. We actually have it here today. Um, it's right here. Yes. Boom. Oh my goodness. Yes, I, absolutely. There it is, right there. Y'all, this is beautiful. I mean, what, what is it like to see this in, in person? 
I don't. Again, <laughs> I, I it's, know where it's unreal, man. Unreal. It's unreal. <laughs> to have an idea, have it take shape, and people just put it in paper. Brilliant, talented people. <laughs> well, you can follow Marvel Contest of Champions on the social channels for more info on how to get this comic. And you know what? I think we might give some out today. Y'all, do you want? Do you want? You want some swag? You want this custom comic? I mean, I think I think they're excited for it. I mean, Justin Max, I think you want to help me out? Hell yeah. Okay, Let's all right. Yeah. Who wants it? Yeah, we got tons. We got tons. There you go. I love it. I love it. The artwork is breathtaking in this. So we'll hand out some more of those. Justin, Max, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. You guys were incredible. Thank you all for hanging out with us, both here in person and on the live stream. We see you. And everybody, if you haven't yet downloaded Marvel Contest of Champions, it's free, y'all, on the App Store and on Google Play. Be on the lookout for Shield. Comes out in November. And, of course, Battle Realm Brawl, October 20th and 21st in Vancouver. If you can't get there, twitch.tv slash kabam. Y'all, thank you so much for being at the booth. We'll see you real soon. We out.